Hello ladies and gentlemen, Hollowtide here, and today we're going to be going over this huge, like, 7,000 word season 1 outcomes report from Halo. I'm not going to go over everything because there is literally so much stuff in this this article thing, um, but we're going to be touching things that I think are kind of big, and my overall thoughts, um, I, I don't know. I, I'm happy that there's something, and I mean, this is a substantial you know, I, I don't know, article, but uh, there's going to be a second one that's coming out with, like, customization and the store and everything like that, but basically, to me, this is, like, I don't know, all these bug fixes and stuff are things that, you know, should have been fixed before season two, like, these should have been, like, a mid-season update, but I understand that there's a ton of people not currently employed at 343, and I don't know, it just stinks, um, and I've seen a lot of, you know, like, normally you think people would be happy, but again, I think people are pretty upset at, um, you know, just how long this has taken, and the amount of content that's being added with Season 2, um, I don't know, it kind of stinks, but let's get into it, there's the intro stuff, Too Long Didn't Read, um, they're just talking about stuff, uh, for multiplayer, we get, you know, Catalyst, a new arena map, and Breaker, the new BTB map. Uh, this is a big one. Um, old Jeff is going to be back to doing the medals and BTB. Thank God. And uh, we're going to get King of the Hill, Attrition. It's going to be added to multiple playlists. I don't know if I like that because it doesn't say that it's going to be its own playlist. I would like to just play King of the Hill. I, I man, I really miss the match composer from MCC, but I don't know. I, I feel like if the player population in MCC could, you know, sustain that, why can't Halo Infinite? But it is what it is. Uh, they talk about rather than track a player's entire session, the CSR progression bar will reflect the progress made for the most recent match. So when you are playing ranked and you see that blue bar it will actually mean something because it's not just a, an entire bar of how you've been playing, but rather the most recent one. Custom game bugs, they're finally going to change how uh, the AI and Spartans talk because sometimes it is just too much. Stability, improve stability improvements on PC resolve dozen, dozens of PC crashes. Very cool. Melee fights should be more consistent. That's kind of like with the desync stuff. They're nerfing the Mangler to where it'll be a two-shot and a beatdown for a kill. I guess that's cool. The Ravager's base will also see a damage increase. That gun was so good in the flights, and then it felt like something broke it when it came out in the full game. So, uh, we'll see. The Ravager was actually my favorite gun in the flights because of how good it was. But we'll see now. Um, you can do um, the Opacity and Thickness for friend or foe, which is the player outline stuff. Drop wall is going to get a performance thing. Um, you know, like more health, I guess. More shield health. Uh, over shields will provide slightly more shielding. Oh, boy. Chopper collision damage will be increased. Cool. Banshee's agility and damage output will be increased. That's pretty cool. Um, I guess that's a good way to, to balance it because they're not increasing the health. And uh, Warthog and Razorback won't flip. That's very cool. And then as they say right here, um, you know, or up here, I mean, the customization shop, battle pass progression challenges, events theater, and observer mode will be in the next one. So that's one I'm actually super excited for just because the stuff in this article should just be taken care of. It's part of quality of life and all that stuff. Um, but yeah, it's, 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 coming along i guess i mean there's so much i'm gonna leave the link down for you but this would be like a 30 minute video if we really dove into it um the pc stuff is good but man there's like you know a thousand people playing right now and that stinks but it is what it is uh anti-cheat stuff um i don't know i i am not gonna lie i just feel like there's so much in here and i guess it's good that you know they're they're doing it it's just, I don't know, would I have rather more fixes over time, you know, like an update each time something got fixed? I don't know. Um, or just one big update? I don't know. Like, is this going to make people come back to the game? I don't think so. Um, I think people 
I don't know. I guess, I mean, technically it will because it will be a part of season two, but um, I don't know. I Like, if this wasn't packed in with season two, would people come back? I don't think so. Um, but that's just me. I'm just obscene. Shout out to Slim Shady, Eminem. I don't know what I'm doing. That's it for the video. If you enjoyed, make sure you leave a like. Halo makes me sad sometimes. I'll talk to you in the next one. Poo!